Hi there, it's Wes, Customer Success Manager at McGraw-Hill. Hope you're okay. Now that your course is up and running, you might want to start to look at managing some of the uh, activities that you set up for your students to do. And it's really easy to change the dates of availability for students to help give them a little bit more structure about when, they, when you want them to do the work. And also a little refresher on how to use hidden items within Connect. So within my course here, as you can see, I've got lots of different activities for my students to go and do, and I've set some due dates for them. Now, if it's a reading assignment, a due date does not necessarily, um, uh, students can do a reading assignment past the due date. And depending on how you set up your practice questions and other activities, you can allow students to go and submit past the due date. But having a due date set in there gives the students a seven day reminder as to this needs to be done within the next week. So it can be a really useful tool for helping to scaffold and structure work for students uh, as they're going through your course. Now, if you want to change the dates of a certain activity, say this adaptive reading in chapter three, all you need to do is go over to the right hand side, click this box, so it selects, and then go up to this stack of papers here. You can then use the drop down menu to go and click manage dates, and that will allow you to change the start date and the due date for your activities. Just be aware, if with some activities, if students have already started it, you can only edit the start and due dates. You can't necessarily go in and edit the actual activity itself. But this then allows you just to make a change for when this activity is due, and that will automatically push out to the students to go and work through that. So it's really simple and straightforward. Secondly, you might have set out a lot of different resources for your students to go and work through throughout the course of the term. You don't necessarily want students to um, see everything all at once. So what you can do is use the show hide button over here that will make things visible or invisible for students to go and work through. So it's a really simple way of doing it. All you need to do is tick the eye icon and that will become visible or invisible to students. And again, you can select multiple activities and use the drop down menu up here to show or hide multiple activities at the same time. So that's a really quick refresher on how to um, change the dates and the availability of certain resources and also how to hide and unhide resources to make sure that your students don't get overwhelmed at the start of term. That's all for now. Keep an eye out for the next video and good luck with the rest of your course. Bye.